hope you guys are ready. Season two, Life at Eight Knots, coming live and direct. We're the Cognitos. We purchased a sailing catamaran named Lost Cat to be our home at sea. And now we run a chartering business where we show couples the ropes and hard truths of living a life aboard. Our goal is to help you move from dreamer to doer. Get to know us here on YouTube and join us for a real life sailing adventure to see if you've got what it takes to live a life at eight knots. Chartering season is upon us and James and I are excited to welcome our first couple aboard Lost Cat in 2021. This is Steve and Sarah. They're an adventurous couple from Illinois who retired early and are now enjoying their days traveling. They contacted us because they wanted to combine a sail trip with completing their advanced diver certification training with James. So we spent two weeks together cruising up and down the Florida Keys, hitting popular dive sites along the way. We also took in the local scenes, had fun both on and off the boat which of course meant a few dinghy adventures. And let's not forget about taking in the spectacular sunsets. But for this dynamic duo, it was all about the diving. In total, they completed 14 dives across numerous sites. And this episode is packed with incredible encounters with aquatic life. So stay tuned, it only gets better with each dive. The Advanced Open Water program goes more in depth on aspects of diving that were taught to you during open water training. First and foremost was navigation. Uh, during training, we covered both compass and natural navigation. As you can see here, we have Sarah doing a, a square pattern. Um, that we use throughout every subsequent dive after that. Not only to locate the wreck or the reef, but also more importantly to find the boat when they're done diving. We caught a mooring ball at Indian Key, and after exploring the island on foot, we headed back to Lost Cat, where Steve had a great idea to capture a photo of our vessel against the night sky. Steve's a photographer by hobby, but you wouldn't know it by this photo he captured for us of Lost Cat adrift in the Milky Way sky. All right, Ooh, heading south through the Keys. We're oh. at. Key Largo for a few days, doing some dives up there. Just left Alligator Reef, heading to Marathon to get our tanks refilled, and get a little diesel for Lost Cat so we can make a big run to Big Pine tomorrow morning. Dive Blue Reef, possible night dive. Da, 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 da. I think we're gonna stay out on the reef tomorrow night. Must be really nice. So the adventure continues. So I secured us a dock for the night at Marathon Marina. They always seem to take care of us and let us hang out on the fuel dock for the night. Uh, we came in through Sister Creek, which separates the island of Marathon with Luke Key, and it 
is the trickier entrance to Marathon Marina, City Marina. We arrived just in time for a beautiful sunset. We are able to say hi to a few friends like Stan Lee at Lost at Sea TV. We fueled up, topped off the water, and set off early next morning to continue our adventures. Augustus Bush Sr. Shipwreck should be right below us. Awesome. Should be attached to it. The 210 foot Adolphus Bush Sr. wreck sits in 112 feet of water. And because it was so calm that day, I took the, the mooring ball on the stern. That way we could use it as a ascent descent line without having to swim to it on the bow. Worked out great for our advanced open water deep dive. Atlantic Ocean over here. This is great. Let's go ahead and get you started on down the line. Nice and slow. Make sure your ears equalize all the way down. There they 
I go. While the rest of the crew was exploring the wreck below, I was up above feeding a school of yellowtail snapper from the back deck of Lost Cat. They didn't seem to mind the giant grouper looming below. Check them out. Motley crew here, ready to go for the night dive on Lou Reef. Right now we're uh, Lou Reef and chilling right now. Pasta's good, ready for after dive dinner. One of the most anticipated dives during the Advanced Open Water course is, of course, the night dive. Buddies can find them. I didn't allow cameras on this dive since it was everybody's first night dive. Well, excluding. Me. Light up the reef like a Christmas tree. The next day we set sail and headed to our next dive destination. The wind was light so we pulled out our beautiful spinnaker sail and enjoyed the journey. We were headed to Sombrero Reef which was full of fish everywhere you looked. Enjoy.
One of our last overnight stops was at John Pennercamp State Park. And the entrance here is not for the faint of heart or those with the long of keel, uh, narrow, shallow. The one thing you don't want to do is meet this boat, the star of Pennercamp around channel marker number 17 here on the dangerous bend. But mooring balls, 18 bucks, dive shot on site, and everyone was uh, just beyond friendly. And would you know it? Stanley was here too in his uh, his voyage category. There she is.